and welcome back to visit Fell Coast. It's Thursday, I've got this on, which makes it digger day. <coughs> makes it digger day today. And would you believe the sun is actually shining for five minutes because the weather this week has been biblical. It's been so windy and so, so wet. In fact, yesterday the, the rain came down like somebody turned a horse pipe on. In fact, a fireman's horse pipe, not an ordinary one. So I wasn't expecting to do a, a video for you today, but I've come out this morning and found all kinds of all kinds of things happening at the end of Russell Promenade. As you can see, the the road is closed. So I'm going to take you for a walk to have a look and see why it's closed, what they're doing, and when it will be when it will be reopened. So don't forget, if you're new in these parts, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications. And we will go and see what we can see, see, see before it starts raining. So the guys are busy bringing the rock deliveries from the compound just at the side of the cafe. Oh, that was a very, very out of focus shot. Um, along this whole road that they've made on the beach. And these rocks here are to protect... Oh, there's a little bit of a rainbow there, look. Can you see it? To protect the dawn cable from the weight of the lorries because this is where the cable comes to shore from the Walnut offshore wind farm which is to the left of the rainbow so we're quite we're getting quite attached to these rocks we think they're quite quite nice and look at all the rubbish this is a consequence of all the wind that we've had in the last in the last few days and I'm, I'm bitterly wishing I'd got a pair of little pickers with me so these are the road closure signs and this is the end of Russell Promenade and of course anybody familiar with this area will know that there's free seafront parking up here. So what does this road closure mean? How long will it be in place and what will it look like when it's finished? Well we'll go and take a walk down there and I will explain all. Here's another one look, another road closed notice. <clears throat> because up here they're putting some new concrete units in which will be revealed in a second but first of all oh look at this little look at this little sunflower valiantly trying to grow and it's even got a flower bud on it look I'll try and not stand in in the way it's even got a flower bud on it in the middle of all the muck so all this litter and rubbish all comes up when it's windy and there's really high tides and strong winds like we've had this week it's been it's been rough so you can see just in front of us the top of the coffer dam that they started building a couple of weeks ago. So that one is is well underway and ready for its next phase. And they started another one just a little bit north of it. But we're heading in that direction, so we'll have a closer look when we get up there. And here's a volunteer litter picker picking up the muck clock. Tell you the wind drops and out they come. So spot the big difference as you come along here is that all of the memorial benches have disappeared. You can just see the pegs look where they've been bolted into the floor. <coughs> so they've all been taken to the compound at Jubilee Gardens to store and they're all coming back in pretty much exactly the same place that they were before they were moved. And there's a red line drawn on the floor here. And this is the line that the guys are working to, cutting out a channel in the tarmac and they're going to drop these rather nice units in you can see them there look building the next building the next crossover ramp and this is where it's all going to look a little bit chaotic because in october they're going to start working on the main cleveley's beach and they're going to leave what they've done up here <laughs> trust me trust me there is a method in it it's not as chaotic as it looks it's all very carefully planned. <clears throat> so this is what they're doing. They're taking out the channel along the edge of the along the edge of the wall and they're gonna drop these concrete units in. So these units will drop to about about the the bottom of the slope there. So that much is gonna end up buried in the footpath. And then We'll have a lovely, clean, tidy wall along the along the seafront. So the the top bit from about there will be about two foot higher than this little dwarf wall. So you'll still be able to sit down and sit on the benches and sit in your car and look over the wall and enjoy the view. 
there's no pay and display parking coming, there's no meters, there's nothing weird, it's all, it's all quite normal, I promise. So that's what they're doing, and that's why it's going to be closed. And obviously it's the weather that's the big problem, because today it looks lovely, doesn't it? It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's blowing, it's blowing in that direction, as you can see from the flag. But goodness me, this week it's been awful. So the weather will be the determining factor of how quickly they manage to get it done. So I hope you've enjoyed that little update. I hope that's made a lot more sense of what's happening. And don't forget to keep watching and we will keep you updated as work goes along. See you soon. Bye for now.